Hey team, how's it going? Did y'all catch the special on Sunday with Ben Shapiro and Gina Carano? I did, and I have some takeaways. Let's talk about it today. Yeah! So, uh, on Sunday, Ben Shapiro hosted Gina Carano, and they had a little discussion about all the things that have happened that culminated in her being fired and him offering her a job to, to spearhead her own production. Some interesting things came away from that. One of which is, man, what a woman. I tell you what. Uh, she said that people were being bullied and that if she, who was being bullied, just stepped down, uh, that she'd be, that'd she'd be a terrible example and she's going to keep on fighting. And you know what? Right on, man. A lot of times I hear celebrities do uh, interviews and I just uh, have less respect for them afterwards. Not so with Gina. She was nice and it looked as if some of the things she was talking about were really bothering her. Some of it, uh, But... There is one thing that really, really stuck with me. Um, and she said, look, you, you offered a logical answer to an emotional um, response. And that's not what they respond to. Um, they, they're, only gonna, they're only going to, um, it only helps if you offer an emotional response to emotional response. And that's what she told me. And I was like, well, I get that, but... Why can't you offer log- like why can't you offer a logical answer? <laughs> I mean, that should be your right to. Did you all catch that? I mean, had to. I played the clip for you. Let me reiterate. <laughs> she said that the woman who came in to with the glasses, who was there to sort of help guide her through this um, issue, the problems she was having, the issues she was having with social media and the leftist people who were trying to get her fired was that they did, They were responding emotionally, and Gina responded logically. And for some reason, they couldn't understand that. Um, what they wanted was an emotional response. And I just think to myself, my goodness, who's in charge here? These are children. These are, these are children. An emotional response. that We, as rational people, are supposed to not be emotional. We're supposed to have our emotions in check so we can be rational because a lot of times you only have room in your brain for one or two things. You'd be rational or be emotional. Not often can you be both at the same time. Uh, except for me because I'm awesome. What do you mean by... <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah. See, it's... Insanity. But what, where, where does this all come from? Where does it stem from? And, you know, believe it or not, you being rational, Gina Carano, is you being racist. How do I know? Because the Smithsonian told me all about it. You look right here. Uh, emphasis on scientific method. Objective, rational, linear thinking. So because we think rational and linear, and Gina, because you thought and responded in a linear response, their response to you is more emotion. Most illogical reaction. Where does this end? How can you keep on responding with emotion a rational response is what's needed. That seems redundant. I mean, I can't believe people have to be told this. I bring it back to Gina Carano. Uh, are y'all serious? You want an emotional response to a logic-driven problem? That's, they don't, they're not equivalent. They're obviously, because what Gina Carano did was respond with logic. And they said, ah, you won't fool us with your, with your reason and your rational linear thinking, your objective thinking. You won't fool us because we are morally right. That's what AOC said. This is just ridiculous. And it's also tied to, the, to this whole whiskey Romeo. I don't even know if I can say that. I don't care. This is, this is just ridiculous. Uh, you, you all saw what happened with Coke. I mean, you can't even defend yourself anymore. So the the mere once you say you're not, you know, that that what the R word if you say that, but I'm not that. Well, that shows just shows that you are. So you can't win. It's catch twenty two. And so you try to think out of the box. No, no, no. Let's think about this objectively and rationally. And they go, ha ha. Don't fool. You get you're not gonna fool me. You white. You dang white supremacist. I know all about you. Sneaky little witches. You're not gonna fool me with your. Facts. Well, that's where we're at. Clown world. Honk, honk. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know what you think in the comments.